Brahmo Samaj Bengali, Brahma Samaja Brahmo Shomaj is the societal component of Brahmoism, which began as a monotheistic reformist movement of the Hindu religion that appeared during the Bengal Renaissance. It is practiced today mainly as the Adi Dharm after its eclipse in Bengal consequent to the exit of the Tatwabadini Sabha from its ranks in 1839. After the publication of Hamendranath Tagore's Brahmo Anisthan Code of Practice in 1860 which formally divorced Brahmoism from Hinduism, the first Brahmo Samaj was founded in 1861 at Lahore by Pandit Nobhan Chandra Roy. It was one of the most influential religious movements in India and made a significant contribution to the making of modern India. It was started at Calcutta on 20 August 1828 by Raja Ram Mohan Roy and Dabendranath Tagore as reformation of the prevailing Brahmanism of the time specifically Kulin practices and began the Bengal Renaissance of the 19th century pioneering all religious, social and educational advance of the Hindu community in the 19th century. Its trust deed was made in 1830 formalizing its inception and it was duly and publicly inaugurated in January 1830 by the consecration of the first house of prayer, now known as the Adi Brahmo Samaj. From the Brahmo Samaj springs Brahmoism, the most recent of legally recognized religions in India and Bangladesh, reflecting its foundation on reformed spiritual Hinduism with vital elements of Judeo Islamic faith and practice. Raja Ram Mohan Roy founded Brahmo Samaj in 1828 in the name of Brahmo Sabha. <laughs> Meaning of the name The Brahmo Samaj literally denotes community Sanskrit, Samaj of men who worship Brahman the highest reality. In reality Brahmo Samaj does not discriminate between caste, creed or religion and is an assembly of all sorts and descriptions of people without distinction, meeting publicly for the sober, orderly, religious and devout adoration of the nameless, unsearchable eternal, immutable being who is the author and preserver of the universe. Topic. Doctrine The following doctrines, as noted in Renaissance of Hinduism, are common to all varieties and offshoots of the Brahmo Samaj. Brahmo Samajists have no faith in any scripture as an authority. Brahmo Samajists have no faith in avatars. Brahmo Samajists denounce polytheism and idol worship. Brahmo Samajists are against caste restrictions. Brahmo Samajists make faith in the doctrines of karma and rebirth optional. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Divisions of Brahmo Samaj. Adi Brahmo Samaj, Sadaran Brahmo Samaj. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Anisthanic versus Inanisthanic Brahmos. To understand the differences between the two streams of Brahmo Samaj it is essential to understand that these implicit distinctions are based on caste. The Anisthanic Brahmos are exclusively either Brahmins or casteless, and exclusively adhere to Brahmoism and have no other faith. The Ananisthanic Brahmo Samajists, however, are from the remaining main caste divisions of Hinduism like Kayastha, Baidya etc. and hence within the karmic, rebirth wheel to eternally progress i.e. Sanatan Dharm to God by moving up caste hierarchies, unlike Anisthanic Brahmos for whom the next step after death is reintegration and renewal with God. History and timeline Brahmo Sabha On 20 August 1828 the first assembly of the Brahmo Sabha progenitor of the Brahmo Samaj was held at the North Calcutta house of Faringhi Kamal Bose. This day was celebrated by Brahmos as Bhadratsab Bhadratsabha Bhadratshab Bhadro celebration. These meetings were open to all Brahmins and there was no formal organization or theology as such. On 8 January 1830, influential progressive members of the closely related Kulin Brahmin clan, scurrilously described as Parali Brahmin, i.e., ostracized for service in the Mughal Nizamat of Bengal, of Tagore Thakur and Roy, Vandopadaya. Zumandar family mutually executed the trust deed of Brahmo Sabha for the first Adi Brahmo Samaj place of worship on Chitpur Road, now Rabindra Sarani, Kolkata. 
India with Ram Chandra Vidyabagish as first resident superintendent. On 23 January 1830 or 11 Ma, the Adi Brahmo premises were publicly inaugurated with about 500 Brahmins and one Englishman present. This day is celebrated by Brahmos as Maghatsab Maghatsaba Maghatsab Ma celebration. In November 1830 Rammohan Roy left for England. Akbar II had conferred the title of Raja to Rammohan Roy. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Brief eclipse of Brahmo Sabha. With Rammohan's departure for England in 1830, the affairs of Brahmo Sabha were effectively managed by trustees Dwarkanath Tagore and Pandit Ramchandra Vidyabagish, with Dwarkanath instructing his Dewan to manage affairs. By the time of Rammohan's death in 1833 near Bristol, UK, attendance at the Sabha dwindled and the Telugu Brahmins revived idolatry. The zamindars, being preoccupied in business, had little time for affairs of Sabha, and flame of Sabha was almost extinguished. Tatwabodini period On 6 October 1839 Dabendranath Tagore, son of Prince Dwarkanath Tagore, established Tatvaranjini Sabha which was shortly thereafter renamed the Tatwabodini Truth Seekers Sabha. Initially confined to immediate members of the Tagore family, in two years it mustered over 500 members. In 1840 Dabendranath published a Bangla translation of Katha Upanishad. A modern researcher describes the Sabha's philosophy as modern middle class bourgeois Vedanta. Among its first members were the two giants of Hindu Reformation and Bengal Renaissance, Akshay Kumar Datta, who in 1839 emerged from the life of an anonymous squalor beset individual, and Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar, the indigenous modernizer. First covenant and merger with the Tatwabodini Sabha On 7 Poo's 1765 Shaka 1843, Dabendranath Tagore and 20 other Tatwabodini stalwarts were formally invited by P.T. Vidyabagish into the trust of Brahmo Sabha. The Poo's Mela at Santinakitan starts on this day. From this day forth, the Tatwabodini Sabha dedicated itself to promoting Ram Mohan Roy's creed. The other Brahmins who swore the first covenant of Brahmoism are, Sridhar Bhattacharya Shimasharan Bhattacharya Brajendranath Tagore Girindranath Tagore, brother of Dabendranath Tagore and father of Ganendranath Tagore Anandachandra Bhattacharya Taraknath Bhattacharya Haradev Chattopadhyaya, the future father-in-law to Mahacharya Hamendranath Tagore Shimasharan Mukhopadhyaya Ramnarayan Chattopadhyaya Sashibushan Mukhopadhyaya Disagreement with the Tatwabodini In November 1855 the Rev. Charles Dahl a Unitarian minister of Boston arrived in Calcutta to start his mission and immediately established contact with Dabendranath and other Brahmos. Dabendranath's suspicion of foreigners alienated Dahl and in 1857, Dabendranath Tagore barred the entry of the Reverend from the Sabha premises for preaching the name of Christ who some people worship as God within. Dabendranath then proceeded on spiritual retreat to Simla. Dahl, immediately formed a counter-group, the Friends of Rammohan Roy Society, and then got admitted a protégé to Sabha. The presence of Dahl's protégé Keshub Chandra Sen a non into the Calcutta Brahmo Sabha in 1857 while Dabendranath was away in Simla caused considerable stress in the movement, with many long-time Tatvabodini Brahmin members publicly leaving the Brahmo Sabha and institutions due to his high-handed ways. In September 1858, Dabendranath returned to Calcutta to resolve the simmering disputes, but his conservative mean did not allow him to take decisive steps. He proceeded on a sea voyage to Ceylon accompanied by Sen and his second son Satendranath a firm admirer of Mr. Sen but no concord was achieved. In 1859, the venerable and beloved secretary of the Tatwabodini Sabha Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar resigned from the Brahmo Sabha in the face of Dabendranath's vacillation. A meeting of the Tatwabodini was promptly summoned with Dabendranath resigning from the group he had founded. His third son Hamendranath Tagore then a boy barely 15 years in age, and the favorite pupil of Vidyasgar, was commonly acclaimed as Dabendranath's successor to head the Tatwabodini. In the course of time he would become known as the Mahacharya or Great Teacher. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Expansion of the Tatwabodini Sabha. Disgusted by politics within the Tagore family and the support to K. C. Sen's faction by his own brother Satendranath Tagore, Hamendranath took the bold decisions to expand his Sabha out from Calcutta. His close associate Pandit Nobin Chandra Roy who had joined the new institution of «railways» in 1860 as its «paymaster» for Upper India was tasked to spread Brahmoism there. With a predominantly monotheistic populace following Islam and Sikhism it was perceived as fertile soil for Rammohan's message. The Tatwabodini decreed that the uncorrupted faith of the original 1830 trust deed would be known there as the Adi Dharm to distinguish it from the distorted versions of the squabbling factions of Calcutta. The steps taken by Hamendranath Tagore, with the blessing of his father, was to institute in 1860 a suit before the Supreme Court to restore the title, Brahmo Samaj, to his faction. After losing in this suit in 1861, Keshub Sen's faction altered the name of their Samaj from the Brahmo Samaj of India to Navabidin or the New Dispensation. With victory in this suit and the promulgation of his Brahmo Anisthan Code of Brahmaic Doctrine and Practice in 1861, Hamendranath Samaj ISDS are henceforth known as the Anisthanic Brahmos or Brahmos who follow the code. The other factions were designated as Ananisthanic Brahmos are those who do not follow the code. This distinction was again to be legally examined before the Privy Council of Great Britain in 1901, and in 1902, the Privy Council upheld the 1897 finding of the Chief Court of the Punjab that the Adi Dharm Anisthanic Brahmos were definitely not Hindus, whereas the Ananisthanic Brahmos of Calcutta fall within Hinduism. Topic. Foundation of the Brahmo Samaj In 1861 the Brahmo Somaj as it was, spelled then, was founded at Lahore by Nobin Roy. It included many Bengalis from the Lahore Bar Association. Many branches were opened in the Punjab, at Kedah, Rawalpindi, Amritsar etc. First secession Disagreement with the Tatvabodini came to a head publicly between the period of 1 August 1865 till November 1866 with many tiny splinter groups styling themselves as Brahmo. The most notable of these groups styled itself, Brahmo Samaj of India. This period is also referred to in the histories of the secessionists as the First Schism. Brahmo Samaj and Swami Narendranath Vivekananda Swami Vivekananda was influenced by the Brahmo Samaj of India, and visited the Sadaran Brahmo Samaj in his youth. <laughs> Current status and number of adherents While the various Calcutta-sponsored movements declined after 1920 and faded into obscurity after the partition of India, the Adi Dharm Creed has expanded and is now the ninth largest of India's enumerated religions with 7.83 million adherents, heavily concentrated between the states of Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. In the Indian census of 2001 only 177 persons declared themselves a Brahmo. But the number of subscriber members to Brahmo Samaj is somewhat larger at around 20,000 members. <laughs> <laughs> Social and religious reform In all fields of social reform, including abolition of the caste system and of the dowry system, emancipation of women, and improving the educational system, the Brahmo Samaj reflected the ideologies of the Bengal Renaissance. Brahmoism, as a means of discussing the dowry system, was a central theme of Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay's noted 1914 Bengali language novella, Parinita. In 1866, Keshub Chandra Sen organized the more radical, Brahmo Samaj of India, with overtones of Christianity. He campaigned for the education of women and against child marriages. But he nonetheless arranged a marriage for his own underage daughter. The Brahmo Samaj of India split after this act of underage marriage generated a controversy and his pro-British utterances and leaning towards Christian rites generated more controversies. A third group, Sadaran Brahmo Samaj, 
was formed in 1878. It gradually reverted to the teaching of the Upanishads but continued the work of social reform. The movement, always an elite group without significant popular following, lost force in the 20th century. After the controversy of underage marriage of Keshub Chunder Sen's daughter, the Special Marriages Act of 1872 was enacted to set the minimum age of 14 years for marriage of girls. All Brahmo marriages were thereafter solemnist under this law. Many Indians resented the requirement of the affirmation, I am not Hindu, nor a Muslim, nor a Christian, for solemnising a marriage under this act. The requirement of this declaration was imposed by Henry James Sumner Main, legal member of Governor General's Council appointed by Britain. The 1872 Act was repealed by the Special Marriage Act, 1954 under which any person of any religion could marry. The Hindu Marriage Act, 1955 applies to all Hindus including followers of the Brahmo Samaj. In India the statutory minimum age of marriage for followers of Brahmo Samaj is the same as for all Indians, viz. 21 years for males and 18 years for females. It is also the age of marriage in Bangladesh. It also supported social reform movements of people not directly attached to the Samaj, such as Pandit Iswar Chandra Vidyasagar's movement which promoted widow remarriage. See also History of Bengal Pratana Samaj Tatwabodini Patrika Topic. References and notes Topic. External links The Brahmo Samaj Brahmo Samaj. Net Brahmo Samaj in the Encyclopædia Britannica